We start with the Trump administration's plans to cut taxpayer funds from abortion providers. The proposal represents a major victory for pro-lifers. Under the new guidelines, federal money in the Title X family planning program would no longer go to groups like Planned Parenthood. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Wyatt. Organizations like Planned Parenthood have a choice. They can either stop performing and promoting abortions or else they risk losing millions of dollars in federal funding. The Trump administration says it's chain making the change because abortion is not family planning. Today's announcement gives the pro-life movement a lot to cheer about. Clearly it shows that President Trump is keeping with his promise, which is that of defending the life of the unborn. Mercedes Schlapp is the White House Director of Strategic Communications. She says Title X money can go to clinics that aren't in the abortion business. Those community health centers dedicated to women that actually provide the real services that women need, like mammograms, like prenatal services. The proposal from the Department of Health and Human Services says providing, supporting, or referring for abortions cuts you off from a flow of federal money. The Title X Family Planning Program provides $260 million in taxpayer funds to 4 million women for things like birth control. But HHS says a clear line of physical and financial separation must now exist between Title X and abortion providers. The president is pleased by this proposed rule by Health and Human Services. So is Mallory Quigley with the pro-life advocacy group Susan B. Anthony List. She says it's all about getting taxpayer dollars out of the abortion business. These new Title X regulations are a major win for pro-life Americans, for women's health care, and of course for unborn children. Today's proposal is based off a version of Title X enacted under President Reagan, upheld in the Supreme Court, but removed during the Clinton presidency. Susan B. Anthony List says the new Protect Life rule will not cut a dime from family planning. Planned Parenthood responds on Twitter, won't cut a dime from family planning ignores the more than 40 percent of family planning patients who will be prevented from getting health care at Planned Parenthood. Quigley has a counter to that. If they really cared about holistic health care for women and girls, they would completely stop doing abortions and disentangle themselves so that they could continue to receive this, this taxpayer money. The president is scheduled to speak at Susan B. Anthony List's annual gala next week. He will no doubt be highlighting his administration's pro-life actions from today. Now, Democrats aren't pleased. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says the Title X changes will prevent many women from getting the medical care that they deserve. Wyatt? Mark, Health and Human Services proposed the Title X changes today. When will they actually go into effect? HHS has sent the proposal to the Office of Budget and management for review. At this point, there is no set time frame for the approval, but a White House official tells me the president is very pleased with the, with the direction that this is going. Wyatt. White House correspondent Mark Irons reporting. Thanks, Mark.